This spring anime season is insane with huge shows like Oshinoko, Hell's Paradise, Heavenly Delusion, and the big boy continuations in Demon Slayer and Doctor Stone, but I'm missing that romance, man. Where's my romance story this season? Now, I won't lie to you people, there's been a huge hole left in my heart since Tomo-chan is a girl ended last season, and it's, it's just a void so dark, so infinitely huge, and I, I didn't think I, I would emotionally recover. However, a show popped up this season that has not replaced Tomo-chan, of course, but created its own special place in my heart. And that comes in the form of my love story with Yamada-kun at level 999. This is truly such a beautiful show. What more can I say? This is an anime I look forward to, not for huge fights, deep emotional plots, or for fan service, but for the simple fact that I put on this show and I just feel happy. I'm like peaceful, I'm contempt. The world just feels like a much brighter place when the show is on because itself the show is beautiful. It's lighthearted and it's a gorgeous little thing. Yamada-kun is an anime that just ticks all the boxes for a show I would describe as being comfy. And let's face it, with the amount of blood, gore, emotional trauma, and scarring we have going on in the other shows this season, which I'm not putting down, by the way, these, these shows have been absolutely freaking insane, and I am here for them. What I'm saying is that, you know, this show is that little escape from all of that. You know, it's a safe place where I feel secure. Like, nothing is going to hurt me here. The show is basically just a giant big hug that I feel we all need if we're going to survive emotionally this spring anime season. So what is this show all about? Well, boys and girls, I'll, I'll tell you. So we follow the story of college student Akane. The episode starts with her boyfriend breaking up with her in favor of a woman he met through an RPG they both play online called Forest of Savior. Heartbroken, Akane skips a few days of school to wallow in her flat because she is understandably upset, shocked, and of course, unsurprisingly angry as well. She logs onto the game only to discover that he has already unfriended her and taken all of their shared stuff. One Wanting to vent her frustration in the game, she goes on a full monster killing rampage only to be interrupted by her sulky guildmate who just adds to her rage and he then receives an earful from her before she eventually logs out. Turns out though that the guildmate is none other than Yamada, a professional gamer with next level numbers in various games, who her ex-boyfriend actually follows. So she attends a gaming event for Forest of Savior in an attempt to make her ex jealous that she has happily moved on, but she of course fails miserably. This was until she of course bumps into none other than, yes, you guessed it, Yamada, and bribes him with in-game loot to pretend to be her boyfriend, and thus the hesitant relationship begins. And I've got to say, it's been really fun to see these two, like, really different characters not only get closer, if that's the right word at this point, but learn and develop in their own rights through their interactions with each other. There's just something really sweet about watching their character development through these really fun to watch interactions. Of course, the show's focus is on our two main characters in Akane and Yamada. Akane is really cool, man. Great character. It's cool that she's like a college student dealing with the breakup of her first love rather than being an innocent high school girl, which is kind of refreshing in the genre. She's also somewhat a gamer girl. Still pretty new to it, but with enough knowledge to be considered a gamer girl, which again can be uncommon in some anime. She's also got this fire to her, you know, like despite the fact that her ex-boyfriend introduced her to gaming, Akane is determined to go on playing even after he broke up with her. Akane's just this like, she's brilliant, man. Akane's just this flawed, far from perfect character that you feel you just want to root for because she's normal. She's the kind of person you'd meet in real life, not this everything about me is perfect kind of character. And a lot of the good and pretty much all of the bad and awkward moments in the show happen through her actions, but not in a horrible way. You can easily put yourself in her shoes and openly admit, yeah, you know what? I would have totally messed up that situation as well. I feel you, girl. Said situations are also totally believable and not out there too. 
I could easily imagine like hearing a friend telling me of this embarrassing experience they had, and that's totally not far off the kind of thing our poor girl Akane is going through in the show. You just watch Akane go through all these experiences and you can't help but laugh. You know, the way the anime executes her inner thoughts and, you know, particularly in her facial expressions, absolutely brilliant. It's just done so well. It, it, it adds that warmth us viewers feel towards her character. And then there is our boy Yamada. Man, this man is the king, I swear. Yamada may appear to be your, like, typical moody, gorgeous male protagonist, but he's honestly so much more than that. At least that's the vibe I have from his character anyway. His lack of experience and indifference in romance excuse his attitude and demeanor for me, and I, I don't feel as if it's like, I don't feel like he's a, this generic type of character. He definitely first comes across as being insensitive and cold, but after Akane begins to show signs of her own weakness and opens up to him, he makes an effort to comfort her as much as he is able to, and it's just, it's just really sweet. It's like he's been quietly shunned away from any real life or social experience, and I'm sure he's going to have a little backstory explaining, you know, the way he is, but you can just see that beneath the cold exterior beats the heart of a true gentleman, you know? Don't get me wrong, though. I do love it when he is totally a bit cold and blunt with her. We all need a bit of comedy, and Yamada is, is brilliant to watch here in those situations. Plenty of giggles, for sure. And for me, that's one of the, the, the show's core strengths. You know, it's expertly executed balance of both comedy and emotional moments. Like, our girl Akane can spend an entire episode holding back her tears, and, you know, we all laugh at the numerous circumstances she finds herself in, but right at the end of the episode, she'll let all of those tears out, and we remember that this girl is just someone who is hurting and dealing with something that they have never had to before, and it's just, it's just done so beautifully. Not only that, but she lets out all of her pent-up emotion and opens up to Yamada of all people. And it's it's through Akane that we are seeing a shift in his own character that, for me, has a lot of potential to it. I feel like there is just so much more about him we are yet to see, and it's Akane who is the catalyst for his development. It's going to be so wholesome. I know there's just going to be, like, this one singular moment that just blows this story up, and I'm here for it, people. I'm here and ready. And I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just a very heartwarming tale that tugs on the old heartstrings or a show that just speaks to me on a personal level. But there's just something about this show that, like, like I said, it just makes me feel contempt and happy just to sit back and watch. Like, I can switch off the entire world for, you know, the 20, 25 minutes while I just enjoy the journey of what this anime has to share. And I truly get this buzz whenever it comes to new episode day for Yamada-kun. It has this very unique take on the romance thing, and the characters are just really fun to watch and feel connected to. I can honestly say that my love story with Yamada-kun at level 999 is probably the hidden gem of the spring anime season, though I have seen it getting a lot of love, to be fair, so... It's a gem, basically, guys. It's a gem. So if you haven't seen it yet, then I strongly, strongly recommend that you do. And while you wait for the next video to drop, why not check out this video where I talk about another of the truly great anime this spring season and quite possibly a front runner for anime of the year in Oshinoko. But that's it from me. I'll see you guys soon. You take care of yourselves till then. Cool. Peace, peace.